Hello and welcome to the NDS Review and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Torterra, Safi, Norman, too. It is time for the review. Oh, Yay. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about? I don't exist in this show anymore. You <laughs> also joining us today is Safi. I thought I was going to be mentioned last. The hell! It was going you, to be a you... big surprise and everything. <laughs> There's no surprise when you talked. <laughs> you you revealed yourself earlier on. <laughs> That's what happens when Silver brings me up. Well, technically, he brought us all up. <laughs> yeah, true that. Safi's here. She's not last. Her discomfort is a blast. <laughs> How I many of the like stuff dying. did you write? <laughs> and now you know I wanted you a part of this. I'm dying, Squirtle. Uh, okay, also joining us today is Tatera. Yay. Uh, I got no intro because Silver somehow wrote down all the cheerleading lines. <laughs> oh, it, it's all good. It's all good. I, I, I can't rhyme. So I'm not good I at all. I can't rhyme either. Yeah. I'm only good with puns. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. But anywho, in today's episode, we are going to review season nine, episode fifteen, two, four, six. Great. Uh, in this also, episode, also just a heads up for everybody. Yeah, there's amaretto in the brain. Like basically, my brain decided to pour amaretto on itself because it's finals week. So if I sound dumber than usual, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Okay, glad we got that cleared up. You, you could just take it off as being one of the cheerleaders, you know. I mean, eh. Ew, no, I refuse to be part of that. That's not a word. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we miss you, Seppi. Yeah. CD, what misses you, too? <laughs> of course she does. I'm your favorite customer. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, in today's episode of... No, no. In today's episode, the School of Friendships starts a buckball team and Rainbow Dash has to come to terms with the fact that she won't be coaching the team. So, that's strange. But anywho, Silver, what do you think? Don't give an F. Rhymes with bucks. Cause this episode kinda sucks. (laughs) (laughs) How long have you been holding on to that? Since last night. (laughs) He's been writing since last night, I believe. He's been writing so much down. I've just been getting things all together, getting prepped. <laughs> the birth of Cheerleader Quill. I, I can't wait for oh, you no. to review this episode on your channel. This episode, it's not the worst of this season, but it is an episode where it's really hard to root for anyone. Well, actually, that's, that's true. You root for the students, but they seem more victims than participants. Mm. Eh, you're waiting for Rainbow to wake up. You know, You know what she needs to do, what she should do. And so we're left waiting rather than than being interested in how this unfolds. And I think that leads to a lot of frustration. All right, all right. And Seppi, what about you? I don't even remember anything about this episode other than it sucked. I Even when it leaked, I just kept, like, pressing the skip button just to get, like, an idea of what the episode was about and, like, some scenes... And yeah, that's it. I don't wow. even remember what it was. It's been so long. Wow. So, did you watch it in English or what? English. Ah, all right. So, Tara, what about you? I really didn't like this episode. I mean, yeah, sure, it may be called 246 Great, but to me, it was not so great. Oh, wow. Agreed. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, As for me, this episode was interesting to say the least. Rainbow Dash was not in her A game but at the same time you know what I'm gonna hold it because I we, we all can point hooves at people here so I'm gonna hold it off for a bit so anyway if you guys at home have not watched this episode yet pause here and go do so welcome back hope you enjoyed the episode so uh, we start off with uh, Twilight announcing that yo a Pinkie Pie Fluttershy Snails we're starting a buckball league at our school and I want you to coach the team. See, we got the three students who will be participating. Yay! And Fluttershy is hyperventilating and faints because the pressure of teaching young students at something that you're really great frightens her. Twilight also mentions that she asked the help of Rainbow Dash to coach or to help coach but 
it's not what you think is to help coach the cheerleading squad. Yay. So I'm going to pause here for a bit. Silver, what do you think? Teach them good. Do it. Cheer. Otherwise, we're going to jeer. What? What? <laughs> um? You guys have never heard of jeering? Uh, no. Jeer? No. Like with a J? Yeah. J-O-E-R. What's that mean? Jeering. Making rude and mocking remarks, typically in a loud voice. Oh. Huh. Wow. The fact that you had to Google that. I've never heard anyone use that in a sentence. I'm sorry. I'll say it out, bright and bold. Goddamn you kids, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I'm Malaysian, so that's my excuse. But I hey, I, I hey. At least I'm not twenty three and have never gone to college. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say, sorry. <laughs> Why you're twenty three though? Huh? I'm twenty two. Oh. Sorry, this leads up back to the thing that I was talking about earlier. I'm just going to <laughs> shut up from there, though. <laughs> okay, so, but anywho, uh, Silva, continue on. I don't know if I can. I'm, I'm trapped in this existential crisis of the fact you guys have never heard the word jeer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Silver. I'm probably not, but... Well, sorry that some of us here don't know jeer. Hey, I rhymed. <laughs> well done. Anyway, so this seems like an interesting idea, teaching, honestly, I'm kind of surprised they haven't done this already at the School of Friendship. You've got two of the best buckball players on your staff, and why not teach the kids? It's a teamwork, sportsmanship, uh, you know, basically make sure you're not training the next generation of rainbow dashes. Mm -hmm. And yet it is strange that Twilight, uh, just look at the... If you go to the gallery for this episode, you can see two expressions where she's just she's sneering at Rainbow Dash. She's got the super villain look. No, Rainbow Dash, you shall be teaching the cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, I I see it. I see it. She's evil. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like it feels like the the lesson for Rainbow Dash shirt is force. Like they're force. Like Twilight is forcing it on her. It feels that way. But anywho, uh, Seppi, what do you think? For me, I get like the um, sort of, and now I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know a lot about sports, but I do know one thing about football is that sometimes like coaches will make their players take ballet classes in order to learn balance True. or, you know, to help them out on the field. Even though it looks girly, maybe it'll actually help them in ways that they didn't know before. I think that's what Twilight was going for. I don't but really I think kind so. of agree it's kind of off putting when you say, Okay, go teach the cheerling squad. Uh, now you're making me think of uh, Robin Williams at the at the Met. He uh he did a whole thing on uh football players and ballet. <laughs> First, the ballet director. Oh my God! It's a smorgasbord. Mm, that tight end. You're fine, right where you are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. Oh, that was a good one. Now, yeah. uh, I I both love the joke, but I miss him. Mm, yeah, that is true. I do too. We all do. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, if you, okay, you know, I'm running around in circles with everybody's opinion here. Uh, Tara, what about you? Well, I really like the change because usually it's Rainbow Dash that. Um, coaches competitive teams like usually sports but I like how Twilight changes it up and be like you know Fluttershy and Pinky you're the best team ever and then Rainbow Dash comes in thinking yeah I can help him out too he's like nope you're doing a cheerleading squad it's like okay I mean that's kind of interesting it's not something Rainbow Dash will look forward to but you know at the beginning I was actually kind of hooked into it I thought you know this will be interesting Rainbow Dash is coaching a, a cheerleading squad but then you know I won't go too far because we're not there yet <laughs> yeah true true and at the same time too I wonder why not ask Rainbow Dash to coach because she seems to be a perfect fit to coach. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Eh, okay. So anyway, we continue on. Rainbow Dash kind of uh, moans about coaching the cheer squad, saying that uh, nobody really pays attention to this cheer, cheer squad thing. Like, people go to the buckball game because they want to watch the buckball game. Like, nobody goes to the buckball game to watch the cheer meetings team or whatever it is like going to a football I'd game I argue otherwise <laughs> <laughs> I know I know 
Honestly, I'm just picturing, uh, what is it, Dallas, Texas. They have basically cheerleading platforms in the audience. And honestly, it looks more like a strip club. <laughs> um, no comment? I, I don't this, is where some, this is where someone makes a comment being like, Silver mentioned a strip club. <laughs> Oh, what? oh, oh! You you think that that's cursing? Here, here's another cheer for y'all. Oh no! Sweetie Bot thinks I'm absurd when she says. That's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> um. I Steve. wish we could keep that in there. Steve, no, don't that curse on the, the show. Little kids' hearts. Don't curse on the show, I'm Steve. I'm a bad influence, I guess. <laughs> no, no, Norman's gonna have to make that rhyme now. Oh yeah. I mean, okay. Here, mm. Uh, so a few things I need to let you all know um, the Patreon members are going to get a raw edit of this show so yay oh but only they for get that. to hear Silver say yep. that's not a word <laughs> they do oh, you're so you welcome Patreon you're welcome Patreon well, sponsors at least, at least we won't have to get flagged by Kappa that's not a word <laughs> you're not helping <laughs> I know I'm not, and it's great. I say to Kappa and their top brass, "Hey, you guys, kiss my ass!" <laughs> wow, just going off on Sweetie Bot now. I think as is good. Mm. All right. <laughs> so where was I again? Um. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I do review. Ba- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> basically, Rainbow saying nobody goes to oh, yes. to his game to see the cheering squad. Oh yeah, thank you. So. Twilight just says like, oh, I'm sure you managed to work the team to make them great and whatnot. So, with that, Twilight takes her leave and Snails comes around telling her that, yo, coach, uh, I'm going to be your assistant coach and also I'm going to be your merchandising person to sell swag to the people. So, go meet your team and let's make this team great. And so they go to the team and we are introduced to two new characters one both of them i haven't seen before in the background probably and one is shimmy shake she is the uh orange not so orange brownish pony and lightning hoof and she is the aquamarine pony yay lightning hoof i know huh? i don't think that's that i don't think oh, that's her name light hoof sorry my bad Light, light. I was going to okay. say it's like lightning hoof does not sound like a cheer pony's name. Yeah, yep. I mean that, that's like lightning dust as she took up boxing. <laughs> yep. I Andy. would like to point out though she's not related to my pony OC because my pony OC also ends with hoof. Ah, okay. Cheer okay. hoof. Yes. <laughs> I was but, going to say it's like I thought I remembered it, but I didn't know if I did or not. I feel like that they're just copying my name at this point. First there was crystal hoof, now there's this. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, to- oh, no, no, no. Torterra's feeling blue because he's gonna su- got a sue. <laughs> I mean, they already made me eat trash in the um, 200. No, was it? No. Um, 200 episode. Was it? I thought it was between Dark and Dawn. No, it was. Yes. Two, no, 200 episode, right? Dark. No. no, Dark and Dawn. Oh, right. Between Dark and Dawn. Yeah, when they made me eat trash for the swan ceremony. Oh, yeah, that's true. We did? Yep, you guys did? Bit. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Why would you torture the poor boy like that? Because it's fun. Uh, hi, have you have you met me? <laughs> I have, yeah. but still, I'm I'm appalled. Silver's retaliating, okay? He's had enough, uh, you know what I'm going to say? He's had enough crap of being the punching bag. <laughs> no, he's just found a new victim ever since I left for school, so oh, I'm no. so sorry that I left you alone, Torterra. How could you do this to me? I need a better education so I can make money. <laughs> Possibly. I don't know. I'm an art student. I don't know if, if I'll make money or not. <laughs> All right. Then. Anywho, let me continue on. So two new ponies reveal themselves and they are cheer ponies. Yay. Uh, Twilight's not impressed. Sorry, um, Rainbow Dash is not impressed. And yeah, Rainbow Dash comments like, haven't I seen you around before? Yeah, don't really care. You guys are going to be background ponies soon. And... Uh, another three characters come about. Uh, that's Ocellus, Yona, and also Smolder. And they are excited to be participating in the 
cheer squad. And Rainbow Dash is surprised that Smolder is joining. And Smolder just mentions, yeah, I'm just following this too. And since you're coaching, it'll be awesome. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, with that, Rainbow Dash leaves him B and just watches the bug ball outside. So, I'm going to pause here. And Terra, what do you think? It's interesting how we see Smolder being in the cheerleading squad because you don't think that she would. Since you know, dragons are mostly, you know, I wouldn't say selfish, but they're not really into fun stuff. And then I like how Ocellus too. Her reason is that I, you know, I don't think it's like fun for them. It's more like it's seen as girly and weak. For who? Well, cheerleading in general is seen as a very girly sport. Uh, Smolder as a character is more of a tomboy. Like, she would fit in that tomboy category. And Rainbow Dash hasn't exactly seen her at a tea party in her dreams. Alright, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But hold it for a bit. Uh, Dara, what do you know? But also, like, too, how Ocellus was like, Oh yeah, I, I came to the Chili League Squad so I can show people... You know, she basically wants to be in an activity so that way, you know, she can do more than just change because, you mean, you know, that's what changing is good for. Mm -hmm. But then this is where I guess it starts to go bad because Rainbow Dash is like, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, just basically agreeing with everything they say and then she just watches the game through the window. Ah, I see. All right. Or and... I went, sorry, not she. she's not watching the game. She's watching the practice, I should say. True that, true that. She's just looking, lingering at the window, looking at the balls. Anyway, just uh, wondering, uh, why didn't I coach that? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Seppi, what do you think? I already told you what I thought through Torchero's <laughs> commentary. Well, that's about it? Really? Yeah, I don't really have much to say other than, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense for mm -hmm. Smolder to want to like see what her options are now that she's trying to embracing her feminine side a bit. Hmm. All right, like but based I, on the last episodes I've seen her in, like where right. she kind of keeps that secret because dragonness. Did you guys review Sweet and Smoky yet? Oh, uh, we did that yeah, long ago. Okay, I I haven't watched an episode or kept track of the schedule in such a long time that I forgot. But yeah, I mean, it kind of correlates with that whole okay, even if it looks dumb, don't be afraid to be yourself type of. Thing, you know? Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. But in all honesty, I just think that Smolder joined the cheer squad just because that hey, Rainbow Dash is coaching, so anything she does will be twenty percent cooler. So why not, right? So it won't I that won't look that too. dumb. So yeah. But anywho, uh Silver, what do you think? Teenage mares doff my hats cause they don't act like brats. <laughs> what? Where do you get I'm... this? It's called rhyming. You should try it sometime. My rhyming is terrible. That's why there's an internet site uh, that actually does the rhyming for you. Oh, wow. Rhyme Zone. Wow. Yeah, Silver. I know that website. They even give you the uh, syllables like, oh, man. You know, yeah. so that your tempo matches. Oh, man. Silver, that's just wiggity whack. Yo, Dizam, dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I, I do mean it that uh, if there's one positive I can say for this episode, it doesn't rely on complete stereotypes. Shimmy Shake and Lighthoof, they have this uh, Valley teenage girl. Valley girl accent, yes. They, you know, they, they have this inflection. It's totally annoying. But they don't insult anyone. They don't uh, think less of the other cheerleaders. They're not comparing themselves to others. They just want to be part of the cheer. And it's actually kind of refreshing to not see them revert to that stereotype even if they use a stereotypical accent. So here's the thing also, because the re I, I'm just going to theory craft here. The only reason why they don't do that is because they're in Twilight School of Friendship. They're the cream of the crop in terms of attitude. And yeah, so having them be valley girls, I don't think Twilight is going to be happy with that. And they are teaching uh, them all about the six or five friendship pillars, whatever it is. Or they could Twilight? just be nice for the sake of being nice. They no, don't no, have I mean, to be evil valley girls for no, mean I'm just, girls. I'm just... What I'm there are no Regina Georges here, Norman. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, 
the way that they are, they're yes, they're good ponies. They're what's the word I'm looking for? They're they're nice and polite. They're not the stereotypical valley girls. And also, when they entered Twilight School, they have to got to be some kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Behave. No, not behave. The process where you get in before the school or whatever it is. Test. Initiation? Uh, appl- application? That and also screening, yes. So, wait, Norman, are you saying that you they should not have been allowed to the School of Friendship just because of their accents? No, I'm just saying that if they were jerks, you're they won't be in. T- but you're also saying that Twilight wouldn't, wouldn't like their accents. No, I'm not. I did not say that. You literally it just is- said that. <laughs> He did say that. Norman Sansa <laughs> wants to exclude. Gotta say, dude, you're really rude. <laughs> uh, did it? Oh, man, I don't even remember. Yes, but that's, Norman, oh, that's yes. what you said. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, that's what he's going to look back at the recording. And he's going to be like, oh, I really did say that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, okay, but here's the thing. Um, my, 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 my point is, even with their accents, Twilight will have to look beyond that and see if their attitude is good or not. Look beyond that, Norman. You were, you were, I never knew you were an anti valleyist <laughs> I okay. mean, I've recently become an anti valleyist but even then, I mean, if they have nice personalities, come on. I, I am shocked and appalled. <laughs> For shame, Carry on, Norman. Silver. Oh, but, but here's the thing. I mean, you're saying that you only let someone into the school of friendship if they're nice. Well, here's, uh, here's Cozy Glow still sitting in. Well, as far as they know, she's still in Tartarus. And I'm just like, oh, yes, going to the friendship school instantly makes you virtuous and guide. Yeah, but oh, she yes. light her way in. Do, do tell us how you are instantly sanctified upon entering the school grounds. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, are you done? <laughs> Your thoughts? No, because you're, you're giggling, and I have a cheer for that, too. <laughs> oh, well. Norman giggles. Good to see you. Now you'll laugh when I... <laughs> and he does laugh. Mission accomplished. Oh, wait, wait. I got another thing to trigger... To trigger Norman. Bayonetta. <laughs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, oh. So, anywho, uh, Silver, are you done with your thoughts on this part? I, I think I think I've tormented you enough, you <laughs> anti-valleyist. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, the group asks Rainbow Dash if they want to see them do their cheer so she can work with them. And Rainbow Dash just says, yeah, yeah, whatever. And Snip plays the record player? Huh. So... He does that, and we get to see the group perform their cheer. And oh my god, this this is a magnificent! Yeah. It's it's the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anywho, with that, Rainbow Dash just says, "Yeah, that was ten out of ten. Look at this team. We're going to do great." And leaves the leaves them for whatever reason. Snip stops her and uh, tells her that, "What are you doing? You're not going to." teach them or anything and not help them work out and whatnot and Rainbow Dash just says okay if you are interested in helping the team why don't you become the coach so yeah good luck you're the coach now and with that we see the buckball team or in this case nails the team how to play buckball and his way is confusing. It doesn't make sense. But Pinkie Pie and... Don't you mean f- how to cheer, not play buckball? I'm, I'm... Did I say snails or snips? I think you said snails. Ah, sorry, my bad. Okay, I thought we were still talking about snips. Sorry, my brain still hurts. My eyes hurt. <laughs> oh, I, anywho. Yeah. Snails, yeah. The buckball pony person, lanky guy. You just call him a manky? Lanky. Oh. Uh, but if you want him to be a manky, I mean, you know, <laughs> you throw a pokeball. <laughs> but uh, I do, I do still love. He has, he's achieved enlightenment because he didn't have a thought in his brain beforehand. <laughs> uh, so you can say he's an airhead. 
He is floating. True. Okay, anywho, I'm going to continue on for a bit. Uh, so, Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy throw some buckball to snails and he catches it while blindfolded. So, that's awesome. And the team are in awe at his talent. So, Rainbow Dash is just there looking at them and Smolder just berates her for, well, not coaching them. And she just asked, um, wasn't Snail's coach, sorry, wasn't Snip coaching you guys? And yeah, Snail's idea of coaching is just to put merchandise on them. So yeah, that's not great, that's not great. So Smolder just says, come on, you're our coach. Act like one and help us. And somehow Rainbow Dash ropes in Snails to teach them how to cheer. Which is terrible. I got no idea. And we're just gonna be in this loop of Rainbow Dash not being interested in coaching the cheer team and trying to run away. Snails just pops in with some some advice because ask your friends for help. So I'm gonna pause here. Uh, Silver, what do you think? Bad feelings gives me fits. I should not root for snips. <laughs> Because of all the things, right now you've got Rainbow Bean totally disinterested. And the students are not really autonomous enough to come up with their own cheers or do more work. The greed-driven character is the only one talking sense right now. Just think about that for a minute. The guy who's just wanting to merchandise the hell out of everything is the one speaking for the audience. That sounds wrong on so many levels. So yeah, many that's levels. one of the reasons why this episode did not work for me. <laughs> there is the, the critique, okay, Rainbow taught Fluttershy the elements of a good cheer uh, way back in Sonic Rainbow. But I think there's a, one distinction. She taught Fluttershy how to cheer for herself. Oh, herself being Rainbow Dash. Mm-hmm. So there was always a bit of a self-serving element in that in that lesson. This is the time Rainbow is being uh, tested to see if she can give her all, even though she knows she won't be center spotlight. And right now she's failing quite epically. But again, because we know what she should do, what we're waiting for her to do, it's actually more frustrating to watch this unfold because we're, we're just not seeing the growth. We're just like, get over the hump already. Get over yourself. Keep going off the hump. Otherwise, I'll kick your rump. <laughs> Tara, what about you? I mean, you really can't say much. Just the same thing over and over again where they try something and then Rainbow Dash is like, yeah, okay. And then they try something else and then again, Rainbow Dash is like, yeah, good job. I'm going to go outside. And I mean... I'm so- going to go outside and get some milk. Never comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Dad's going to come Dash back. Rainbow Dash is essentially the dad who says, I'm going to go out and get the milk. I'm sure and then never return. Back. I'm sure Dad's going to come back. <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> no, it's going to turn into a Disney movie. Well, that would require Rainbow Dash to die then. No. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, um, it's just like, I don't know, I, just, I can't really say much because this episode is just like, I know we're not the ending, but I can't really say much even at this point. I mean, the way I see Rainbow Dash, it's just one of those people where it's like, you have a job and then they just complain that they got this job and they don't want to do it. <laughs> all right, you know, all right, then. So, anywho, I'm going to continue on. So, we have a montage of Rainbow Dash asking for help from her friends, from Pinkie Pie with her party cannons, to Rarity making... Uh, cheer outfit for her team and from Applejack giving a bill of hay huh and for balance they made yeah. it work yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to Zakura for some rhyming help yo and in the end um, it seems to work out for a bit and yeah let's just say that the tools are there. Now Rainbow Dash tells them, you figure it out. And then we, we, we're going, <laughs> we are having this ping pong match between how they're doing it because uh, Rainbow Dash goes in, Rainbow Dash goes out. 
team are not happy with her, chase her down and stuff. So, um, the team goes to the grounds to show them what they can do. And let's just say that they're not great. They're not great at all. And Rainbow Dash being Rainbow Dash says, yeah, well, whatever, don't, don't really care. They meet up at the gym where Rainbow Dash just says, nobody really cares about cheers. Like, oh, people go there for the game, not for the cheer. And with that, everybody's spirit is broken. And Smolder goes up to Rainbow Dash and gives her one and tells her how she feels and whatnot. In the end, it takes nails out of all people to kick Rainbow Dash in the patootie to get her to realize what she needs to do. And uh, you, you, you said snails, it snips. Oh man, I can like that. Who cares? The only one who's actually valid is snails. <laughs> He's closing his cutie mark. I can't tell. But anywho, so anywho, Rainbow Dash has an idea, and. She gets the team back together again to, well, perform or cheer and whatnot. So this time around, Rainbow Dash says she's sorry and she's going to try harder or at least give a damn to make their team great. And we have a montage where they're practicing, they're figuring out their weakness and flaws and whatnot. And, well, I'm just going to skip to the end where they did great. So I'm going to pause here. Seppi, I haven't picked you first. So what do you think? Uh, I think I could use another Amaretto. Oh boy, I'm going to go for Terra then. <laughs> <laughs> I went first last time. Oh yeah, okay. S- Silver, what do you think? <laughs> we should cry and we're gonna because we all feel bad for Yona. <laughs> Yona is best girl. See, see, Seppi, that's all you got to say. Just... Give an opinion. <laughs> but yes, Yoda, see Yoda cry. We've seen a lot of that this season. <laughs> this is the final season, don't, to be honest. Don't, don't be me to Yoda. So basically, yeah, things got to get worse before they get better because it shows the different uh, coordinations, but also shows the lack of Rainbow uh, trying. And I appreciate that Smolder is, says why she was looking forward to Rainbow Dash and explain why everyone is so upset and disappointed. But again, it's it's Snips who uh, who is talking the most common sense to Rainbow Dash and gets her to, to get her rear in gear. And it Snips' goal is greed. On the surface, at least. Maybe I'll talk about that at Final Thoughts. Right. But, but... When the greed-driven character is the one talking sense into you, one could say, oh, that's great subversion and uh, and uh, unexpected, but really it just shows how much Rainbow Dash sucks this episode. Yeah. So true, so true. I'll sound mean and I'll bash when I hate on Rainbow Dash. <laughs> All right, then. So, Sappy, what do you think? Rainbow Dash is the worst character. I've been saying that all along, and nobody believed me until this episode came out. Alrighty then. Uh, what about you, Terra? I mean, honestly, Rainbow Dash is just bad in this episode. She made Yona and I think Ocellus cry, and I do like how Smolder opens up and saying, you know, you're Rainbow Dash, you can make anything awesome, and then they all just disappointed, and, you know, Silver basically just described it very well, how Snips is basically the hero of this episode. I mean, if anything, it should just focus around Snips being this episode. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, but... I mean, I guess you could say, this episode with Rainbow Dash, it kind of got bashed. <laughs> well done. All right, well done. Then. But I'm um, just... S- Safi, do you... I don't have anything to rhyme. Safi said... Fears a fight. She should know. I'm too white. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I'm just worried because here's the thing. Snips, sorry, uh, Snips, yes. Snips may be the hero of the show, but have you ever wondered how did he get into the school of friendship, even into the girl storm? And like, 
with the two new characters being behind them. Like, that's a bit troublesome. Snips his action, uh, dance of border. He's going to get a restraining order. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I just thought I'd just point it out because that's a bit creepy if you ask me. But anywho, with that, we go to game day. Yay! The School of Friendship is uh, having their first Buckball game or friendly with Celestia School of Magic. What is it called? School of Magic? Yes, uh, Celestia yes. School, School of Magic. For gifted unicorns. Yeah, but she shortened it to Magic School, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to like take order lunch before you finish the title <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> All right. Then. So, anywho, uh, with Celestia School for gifted unicorns, was it unicorns or ponies? Unicorns. It's very exclusive. Mm, right. Yeah, they're very speciesist. <laughs> so, anywho. Oi! <laughs> I mean, I don't... As much as I appreciate uh, Earth Ponies and Pegasi, I mean, do any of y'all have any kind of magic? Oh, you traitor. You switch sides. Yeah, that's true. You used to be a Pegasus, no? I hated it. (laughs) (laughs) I I actually originally wanted to be a unicorn, but I thought they were overrated. So being the (laughs) hipster, edgy teen that I was... Well, I mean, for me, I don't have magic, but I have poke powers. <laughs> oh, boy. You made those up. <laughs> but, uh... All bow down, a swift pace. Balba for the master race. Indeed. What is... And besides, I'm fluffy and cute now. But, but anywho, uh, Celestia students are all unicorns, so we get to see them, well, in interesting ways. We get to see... Um, one of the unicorns having butterfly wings, one having a magic dampener on her horn. So, that's cool. And who knew that Celestia was a jock? She, she was overhyped there. Like, yeah. I mean, she is the extroverted sister. Yeah. You, you, you. So... Celestia shouts, it's her choice, using a royal voice. Yay. So, anywho... Um, the team is tied one to one, and Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie are nervous. Well, actually, Rainbow Dash is too, but not for the team, but for her squad. So we go to the halftime game, and we see the ponies or the cheer ponies do their thing, and surprisingly, they are awesome because we get to see all of them do their darnest here. Um, the coordination is great, the cheer is loud, and in the end, we get to see Smolder burn down a house. Okay, that, that was part I made up. Burn. There's no house burning involved. I was about to say, I mean, the roof is on fire is meant to be metaphorical. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Oh, no, there's no one to the ending. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Silva, what do you think? Let's see here. Honestly, the funny thing is seeing Ocellus uh, interact with the audience. This is just personal. When I was working for a TV station, we did a promo for a Papa Roach cart, uh, concert. All right. That sounds amazing already. <laughs> it was. It was. It was fun just to watch and see all the people crowd surfing. <laughs> but there's a, there's a point where the lead singer, he's just saying, when I say rocket, you say roll, rocket, roll. Rock and roll. When I say ready, you say go. Ready, go. Ready, go. And he just worked up the crowd right away, just like uh, Ocellus is doing. Nice. It was. It's funny to see that interaction, and it is a good, good cheer. Although, do we want to talk about the uh, the ending, or do we want to get to that shortly? Uh, let's get to that shortly for a bit because uh, I can bundle that up with final thoughts. I'm guessing that's about it. Well, it's fun to see. I'm glad they all came together. But it, again, this is something we were just waiting to see happen rather than getting to see them work to make it happen. Mm. All, right, all, right, all right. And Seppi? Opinion. There, I said it. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I've I've been off the show for so long that, yeah, well, I'm back to tech. my usual I have no opinion or anything to say motif and I feel bad. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's just going to cut in and state her yeah. opinion while one of us is doing true, it. True that. Yep. Yes. That sounds about right. 
Because when you put me in the, on the spotlight, it's like, I have nothing to say. I am spook. <laughs> but technically, this is something new that we've done since you've gone. Silver kind of um, want, not really wanted, but uh, suggested that we try this because everybody will have a voice. So it kind of works. Yay. Because it's rude to talk over people. <laughs> I'm <in there>. sorry. <laughs> I had a thing to say and I had to shout it out because otherwise I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> but see, if you shout out in front of other people and talking over it, it's going to be very rude and hard to understand them. I'm loud, sorry. <laughs> loud noises. Loud noises everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a terrible We person. should be in the cheerleading squad. <laughs> you terrible, you. Esther, how would you look in that cheerleading uniform? Mm. Uh, I don't think it would fit in my size. Oh, yeah. I could make it fit. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, God, no. I don't think I'd look good in a kilt. Or I a skirt, make or whatever it you call it. No, you will not. <laughs> yes, I will. No. I'll draw it. Don't you dare. <laughs> I will. No. Yes. <laughs> no, you put that ten or whatever it is, you draw it down. But, but, but I'm an art student. I'm supposed to draw weird things. You want to know what I've been drawing all semester while I was gone off this? Uh, off the show? Turkey carcasses. <laughs> socks. Weird mermaid dead ghost birds. You're drawing Silver's dead cousins? <laughs> <laughs> Torteris looks, I'd confess, think he looked good in that dress. No! <laughs> They're, they're I can draw a weirder. The, oh, right, more. and mutant black squirrels. I've been what? painting that recently. The, the more you, the more you say no, the more she wants to do it. You know that, right? No, I don't know that. Before psychology, let her do it. Then she'll be bored. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I want to draw it now. See? All right, go ahead. I don't <laughs> mind. Okay. But anywho, uh, what do Let's you think, no, Norman? If she, if Norman, if she does, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is going to do it Let's just because see. you're gonna Illustration get me. Illustration two. I need to find Torterra's reference. <laughs> anywho, Tara. The pony what version. I can't draw actual Torterra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Threats come out in a flood. Torterra is out for blood. <laughs> no, that's just ketchup. I like putting ketchup on everything. Oh god. Uh, this is not mustard. Uh, I forget where we were. Sorry, not my bad. It's not mustard. Oh, God. Mustard's bad, too. Uh, mayonnaise. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, man. That's just sick. <laughs> I found it. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Okay, now I get to draw Torterra looking cute <laughs> in a dress. Don't forget you have homework to do. I, I know. That's why I'm going to make this as quick as I can. <laughs> It'll be great. Extra, extra credit. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, there are thoughts now. On what now. account? Uh, I forget where we were. Will I get three <laughs> bucks for doing this? No. Aww. Uh, near the end. Near the end. All what right, if I well... do a really good job? <laughs> <laughs> then can I get three bucks? Not for me. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. well... well, I wouldn't say it was worth the wait, but to me this episode still wasn't that great. Yeah. Uh, good rhyme. Oh, right. Thank you. That was intentional, by the way. Oh, boy. <laughs> but no, I do. I like it's basically what So said. We know what's going to happen, and then in the end, they get to it, and it's just like I mean, we've seen this in movies too, where someone is assigned to do something they don't really like to do, but then after they're they start enjoying it, and then in the end, they love it. But that's in a movie. Here, it's like they shortened it, and it feels like it's a bit rushed at times, and. Like, it's basically, you know where this is going, and in the end, you know, he's like, yeah, you're happy for them, but at the same time, you know, you knew what was going to happen all along, and even Twilight knew what was going to happen. I mean, she said so in the beginning. You're talking about movies, Mighty Ducks. Yes, that's it. So, anywho, uh, sorry? Before we continue, I think this bear is saying, Safi's greed wants three bucks, but Torterra gives no acknowledgments. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice, 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 nice. Whew. I'm still going to draw it. I'm currently drawing it right now. Yep. So, any. If only I had a way to. Oh, wait! There's a share screen option, isn't there? But, anyhow, I'm gonna go to the end so we can wrap it up. So. Okay. The, so, with that, Team Ponyville or Team uh, School of Magic wins and School of Friendship lose by 
a margin of one, five to one, five to four, something like that. I don't know how to count. So with that, um, Flutish Eye and Pinkie Pie just says, yeah, it's okay. For your first match, it was pretty good. And Rainbow Dash just comes in saying, oh my god, you guys did great. The cheer squad, you're awesome and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And Twilight and Celestia comes in saying that, oh wow, Rainbow Dash, it looks like you learned a lesson, blah, blah, blah. And Celestia just t- tells Twilight, great job. You're learning from the best. Yay. And with that, episode ends so you know what i'm gonna go for terra what do you think and also final thoughts all right well i mean all i can really say is that i think twilight's been hanging around with trollestia a lot because i love how at the end twilight's like nope don't know what you're talking about and then celestia's like yeah you go twilight and they give a little hoof bump it's like wow <laughs> i mean I, I like i really like that little ending but all in all i really didn't like this episode i mean not saying it's the worst episode of all but in this season, I wouldn't really suggest watching it. I mean, if you're curious, I mean, yeah, you go ahead and watch it. You know, if you've never seen it, you go ahead. But it's, some, it's something I wouldn't really go back to watch. I mean, I have to go back and watch it just for the sake of this. <laughs> All right. That's about it? Yep, that's it. All right. And uh, Seppi, overall thoughts? Hmm. Torterra looks really good in a skirt. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, what? Do you not see it on the screen? Uh, I see it. I even see you looking at my <laughs> reference, and my god, my the back when I used Pony Creator. Oh, I don't have any other reference, so I'm just using that. Oh, here, let me help you out with that. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, all right, Where know. is it? Silver, what do you think? <laughs> I think that this episode sucked. It was unmemorable. I didn't even want to go back to it. I didn't even like where it was going the first round. And yeah. <laughs> I I just don't enjoy it. There you go, Safi. Right, where is it? Hmm. Oh, that's way better than what I was drawing. Cool. Because I was originally drawing it like that, but I didn't know how uh, all right, I was all going right, to then. execute it. Anyway, uh Silver, what about you? Friendship school. Lost the game. I say now, you bring us shame. <laughs> Tara, you want to use that line from Mulan? No, no, I'm good. Oh, man. Oh, I should... wanna. Okay, go ahead. I, I said it last time, but yeah, that's there you go, it. Dishonor, dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. <laughs> I don't even know what ta- what you're talking about, but I heard Mulan and shame, and that was just what was yep. associated. Yep. It was pretty much the last recording where Norman did something bad and I gave him dishonor. <laughs> yep. Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! Dishonor on your Malaysian rice! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> rice, really? I don't know. Wow. Oh. Wait, way to go against the grain there, Sappy. <laughs> All right, Silver. I'm already doing that by putting Torterra in a skirt, so... <laughs> Boys. Anyway, uh, he's a pretty horse. <laughs> I like that escape. That's about it. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. If we're if we're in final, we're in final thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, like I, I've said it enough times that Rainbow Dash is this is more a waiting game for Rainbow to wake up than to really journey with her through discovery or effort. It's a lack of trying that brings this down because two thirds of the episode is her just being disinterested. We only get to see her really try to engage this team and bring out their best uh, at the very, very last minute, 11th hour. Imagine if Rainbow really, she was trying to make them as skilled a set as the Wonderbolts uh, and was asking too much of them. And she had to learn to play to their strengths rather than make them live up to her fantasy. I think that would have been a stronger uh, story. Premise? Premise? Premise story? Yeah, premise. Stronger premise, stronger story, stronger everything. The fun parts are seeing Celestia be using the royal voice for cheering. <laughs> what, two, seeing a return of the uh, of the w- do, uh, Gossamer Wing uh, spell. Continuity! <laughs> <laughs> 
And they actually brought in a magic dampener, which is something fans have envisioned for ages. Yeah, true that. In other ways or not? Now, the Snips role, I've said he, he he's greed. Everything he does has been uh, motivated by greed and trying to merchandise off everything. But I wonder if there's something under underneath the greed that's a bit more noble. His best friend is pretty much going to be a professional buckball player. He, he is just preternaturally gifted towards it. And I kind of wonder if this greed is motivated more by by merchandising and being his agent, Snips can stay with his best friend. Well, that would be a lot more characterizing. This is the only way he can really operate in, in Snail's new world. And so, at first glance, it does seem like it's purely selfish motivation, but maybe this may this may or may not be a factor. But maybe he does want to be close to uh, Snails as best he can. And, and if his best friend is helping lead a buckball team, he'll help merchandise it. <laughs> so what do you guys, just real quick, what do you guys think? Oh my god. god. Oh. He's so cute. No, I am not. I am a menace. Fear me. <laughs> Fear no, my no, Pokemon no. powers. I can make an earthquake happen in an instant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely, Torterra. Just lovely. <laughs> okay. Although, yes? The, this, yeah. this does fit into one last cheer that talks about the fandom reaction mm. to this episode. Costume change. Looked like a tart. Let's check out all the art. Oh, God, <laughs> yeah. Be, because the um, we haven't seen this outpouring of cheerleader fan art since Cheer Lee in Cart Before the Ponies. Oh, yeah. Also with uh, Twilight in the cheer outfit, too. So, yeah, that's that, too. So, yes, there's a lot of cheerleader enthusiasm as a result of these episodes. And speaking of enthusiasm, Torterra just looks so ready. <laughs> oh my god. To get <laughs> oh boy. But anyway, is that also? I don't know if there's anything else to really say. Just that for it, for my money, going to seed was the weakest episode of the season, but this is a very close contender. And that's not a title I'd want anyone to buy for. Mm. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> anyway, as for me, this episode was Okay, I mean, what was the previous episode that I said that it was just meh? I forgot. What's it again? Going to seed. Going to seed. Uh, what was what, what was it? That? <laughs> was that the one where uh, Applejack and Apple Bloom? Yes. Yeah, wasn't that the last Applejack episode two yeah, of the season? Yeah, yeah. That and all sadness uh, abounds. That and also, I think the. No, um, Scootaloo one too. The Last Crusade? Yeah, The Last Crusade. That was also another one too. Yeah. I think the meh one was also The Last Crusade. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Wow. They're, they're close. But yeah, I mean, with this one here, uh, we get to see a lot of interesting visual visuals. We get to see more lore being dumped we get to see another side of celestia we get to see smolder in a cheerleading outfit which is pretty awesome if you like smolder and dragons and whatnot but the story itself feels like pulling teeth it feels like it could have been done much better it feels like it like silva mentioned if rainbow dash was invested but in her own hyper active way but no 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 she's just disinterested and doesn't really care at all but the participants the squad they're they are fully in it they want to perform they want to try their best but the problem is without a direction they can't do much and i'm sure that some people might just ask or say if um shimmy shakes and light hoofs are good at cheering why didn't they teach the rest or uh, guide the others which which brings up a valid point but i'm 
not sure if I have a valid answer. But in the end, this episode was okay. Fun visual, fun stuff to see. But in the end, it was just okay. Eh, not, not the best. But I still like it. Fan arts are abound. Yay. So anywho, uh, Silver, what are we going to do for next week's episode? Well, I think it's time we, we went back to a series of which we're a little more enthusiastic. We're going to talk the second issue of Nightmare Nights. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Well, this will probably also be the last time we hear from Safi. Oh, yeah. She's going to be... Well, I bit. mean, after this week, I mean, I'm mostly available. Oh, yeah. Well, except for two weeks from now on a Sunday when I actually have to go to uh, Kentucky. <laughs> you mean the day we're recording? Yes! <laughs> oh, well. So I... this so this will be the last time we hear from Safi. <laughs> yeah. In a while. Mm -hmm. Until after I'm the end sorry, of the I'm sorry, I actually up. do have a flight schedule oh, at no, the same no. time. No, 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 we, we, we're not blaming you, we're not blaming you. you. You do what you do. It's like Christmas vacation. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Isn't Silver's birthday also coming up? Oh, that's quote-unquote oh, yeah, this the Tuesday. Yeah. Well, this is going to Silver. be confusing. Sorry. This is the... Yes. Happy early birthday! Or, yes, happy uh, early birthday! Yeah, yeah, Thank okay. you. I shall consider Tortera and a cheerleading outfit my, my Christmas gift. Yay. God or damn birthday. it! <laughs> birthday gift. I, yes. I will happily accept that, considering one, I haven't seen you in forever, two, I lost your address, and three, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You've, got, you've got school going on, I understand. Yeah, so um, that and I'm I... kind of poor at this point. Like all that money I got from Braycon is basically gone at this point. <laughs> so uh, yes, we, uh, it, 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 has been it lasted me throughout the semester, though. So hey, that's good. Good. I already yeah. spent good, enough good. money for my Christmas shopping. <laughs> so I'm, I'm... okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> all right. So anyway, I'm just going okay. to okay. Uh, okay. Let the audience. Bye -bye. Oh, you're going. All right. See ya. No, we're not even done yet. But okay. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Well, we're just I'll about wait to... until we're done. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna let the people at home listen. Well, the YouTube actually that when this episode comes out, it's gonna be a long time that, uh, since Silver's birthday passed. So yeah, that's gonna be a while. So if you do listen to this, say happy birthday or happy little birthday. Yeah. I, I guess he likes it. Yeah. yeah. But anyhow, for the er uh, er, uh, he likes er. Uh. Oh, Norman, just, just, you're phrasing everything so wrong. It's so right. I got no idea. I'm going to blame it on because I'm Malaysian. Yes. But anywho, one thing I do know I can do is read the script. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissilgmail.com. <laughs> you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Well, you can find me a lot of places. You can find me on both Twitter and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. You can find me on YouTube on, if you just do search for After the Fact or Silver Quill, I shall appear. Uh, let's see. I am I am running both a Patreon and a uh, Kofi, where you, you can, are. Uh, yes. Where? Kofi, Give me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Give me. Uh, it's under well on Kofi. It's just under Silver Quill. The Kofi hasn't really gotten a lot of attention yet, but that's okay. I will not despair much. But uh, I will say, I shout out continuity. How about a gratuity? <laughs> uh, oh, please make the sun. <laughs> do, do, but, do, 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 where is oh boy. the search yeah. bar? Well, yes, yeah, just Kofi slash Silver Quill, all one word. And you can find me on Equestria Daily on Wednesdays, posting either comic reviews or editorials. All right. Also, uh, Seppi, where can the good people find you? You can find me on DeviantArt and, and what's it? Uh, DeviantArt, Twitter. Well, not YouTube right now because I'm still trying to get like a new editing software program for YouTube for the future. Um, also Kofi under Kofi.com slash Anime Christy. I'm also very simple to find. Uh, also, if you want to follow my NSFW account, <laughs> if you're 18 and older, uh, just look up Sugar Sapphire. What? Okay, that's that, all I've got to promote. That's new. 
Yep. Yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> I recently started it as my new form of artistic downtime. Huh. Because I've been forced to draw socks and turkey carcasses and dead mermaid ghosts and... Well, you you get the uh, idea. Okay, okay. Uh, Alright, and then also... Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. Or they can just do a simple Google search, and I'm pretty sure they'll find me on all platforms, including my Patreon page. And I've been recently thinking about also starting a Ko-fi page. Oh, that's awesome. Silver. Uh, yes. yes. Check your notifications. <laughs> I don't But anywho, um, while Silver checks his notification, uh, also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch your radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy... Lucky night, myself like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And Silva, what happened? She gave me a follow. Yeah. Yes, you can follow people. Hey, like I I also bought you a coffee, but okay. It's not. Uh, it's probably still processing or something. <clears throat> oh, yes. oh right. I do not understand. Why is it being so silly? I don't know, but either way, you you have. Money now, I guess. Well, you have well, three th bucks, even though I want three bucks. Let's <laughs> give <you>. each other <laughs> three bucks. <laughs> oh, uh, so, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. I am Brain Dead. And I am the Tartero who sadly got foisted into a dress. Mm. <laughs> mm. Which was the best thing ever to happen mm. so far. Um, yes, all right. So, anyway, um, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guess I catch you guys next week. How do I end this? I forgot. <laughs> uh, see you ya. said your name. Adios. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, I see. bye. Well, I see my name. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Show's all done. That's no lie. So, we'll all say goodbye. Bye, I guess. See ya. Goodbye. Bye bye. I, I did my cheer. Don't you usually play the little music thing? The hell, Silver! I already did it for you. Now get me out of here! I can't handle this cheering. Get me out of this dress. <laughs> no, you will stay in that dress until next week. Wow. Mm. Yes, we're gonna address the issue. <laughs> oh my god! Ha, 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 ha.